Deputies say a joy ride in a stolen car ended with a crash inside a woman's garage and a SWAT standoff. Tonight we are unpacking exactly what happened on the roads of Washington County and who is in custody tonight. Fox 12's Bonnie Silkman is live in Aloha where that driver finally came to a stop. Bonnie. Nora, good evening. After escaping deputies and slamming into patrol cars, that driver's joyride came to an end inside this woman's garage. And look over here. See this pile of wood and debris? This is all that's left of her garage door. And tonight we're learning this is not the first time this driver has crashed into someone's house. Who drives like that? Tonight, we're unraveling a wild ride, complete with a SWAT standoff, a stolen SUV, a crash inside a garage, and a pair of patrol cars, both rammed by a driver on the run. A destructive day for this man dressed in red. Our cameras rolling from above and below as a shoeless 23-year-old Isaiah Moore is finally caught. I have no idea what was going through his mind. Deputies say this all started around 6 a.m. in Forest Grove, with Moore stealing this blue SUV, eventually crashing into a driver and then slamming into these patrol cars trying to escape. But a crash through the garage door and then through the garage wall and then into the house. I would think he was probably going pretty fast. The messy finish line is Joy Beckett's garage on Southwest Sugar Plum Lane and 170th. Her garage door, now this pile of pieces. Her air conditioner crumpled, but the chase wasn't over. After he crashed in my house, he went into my house and immediately out my laundry room window by busting it out. The guy jumped out this window, crossed this yard over to my yard, jumped the fence, landed on the lady's car and went in the house. The garage door was open and she was there. Neighbor Dave Keough says Moore came face to face with his terrified neighbor inside her house. Before she ran for her life, he says Moore made one last bizarre move. He went in and he opened every fridge and he made a sandwich, I guess, and then he threw all the eggs all over. With shields up and guns drawn, deputies moved inside the house, finding the driver who's been in a very familiar situation. It turns out back in July, Moore crashed into a child's bedroom. Just like this time, he was arrested and somehow no one was hurt. Could have been much, much, much worse. And the woman who lives here is incredibly upset tonight, not about the damage, but because her cat ran away after the crash. And I'm planning on posting a photo of the cat on our social media so you can look out for the animal. Also a warning from deputies tonight. They say this all started when a woman was warming up her car before work. That is how this man got his hands on that SUV. They say it's already starting to happen as the temperatures begin to dip. For now, reporting live in Aloha, Bonnie Silkman, Fox 12 Oregon.